hello and welcome in this video I will quickly show you how you can uh, uh, deploy a fresh Vue.js application into Firebase and you might face some of the issues while you are using the Firebase CLI tool and I will show you how you can fix it so quickly let's create a new view application you can use view create and now I will give it Firebase view uh, you can name it whatever you want and it will take a few seconds to, to create the app you might have been following from the previous video but from here I'm going to manually create my application I'm going to use uh, of course Bible and we are going to use SCSS and we will use the Vuex and view router maybe not Vuex and we don't need anything else so that's that's it I press enter and we will enable the history mode in the browser and we will use the SAS for the CSS also here are some other ES linter and I'm not going to use any of them if you update your view CLI you will not get this last option so you make sure you update your view CLI and now I am going to use the Airbnb config or yeah it is ES linter is just the basic purifier so I will use the last option and here it is going to um, ask me you want to save it or not I will just save it and create the JSON file so save this project for the future project I will say no and we press enter it will create my application now and it will take a few seconds so I'll pause the video so it is done now I will cd to view to firebase view here and I'll open it in the my code editor so I don't need to open it but I will open to see what the code changes we need to bring here so for now we are in this directory what I can do is I can quickly initialize the firebase also here so in the previous video you learn how you did that so since this is a fresh project I'm going to run the, the firebase in it here and let's see what error you might get here since this is a fresh project here first of all it is going to ask you you want to proceed you want to say yes and next step this is going to ask you which feature you are going to ask not database of course we will use the firestore uh, cloud function as well as hosting and the storage press enter and now it is going to create uh, a every other step from here you will select one of your projects you have in the firebase already so if you have already that's good if you don't have you can select the create new project let's select this one and it will instantly give you an error it says project active run the project id if you get this error it is because you cannot add it to your project so the alias is like you can use the firebase use at it will create a new project since we initialize it it couldn't find any project so let's create it in the firebase application you can click here and add a project i will give it a name here since we are using just for testing i will say firebase view at uh, the name of my uh, spelling is wrong firebase view the name of the folder and i will scroll down accept everything and then we create our project this way it is easy to configure it just create it manually and then from the drop down you can select it if you get the same error make sure you do it and this is the easiest way you can uh, fire up everything continue it will open your application here let's come here click uh, the just bring your firebase in it again and initialize it again now you will say yes i want to proceed and for this again you are going to select all these features we need going down here i'm going to repeat these steps a few times so i hope you don't get bored but you will learn a lot why these errors are happening so this is the project we just created uh firebase oh my god again i did a spelling wrong here i think yes firebear okay sorry for that but that's fine i can select this one and i can press enter now you have a fresh application here it is going to create a firestore role for you press enter and this time again it is going to give you an error if you get this error it is because you have not done any initialization previously so you can do the the help here and the help is not going to give you any any major help if you if your uh, firebase version is latest version currently this is not the latest version it is going to give you a link to their website and go up and read about the permission and stuff like that or set the location 
if you are getting that one at the time of this recording this is not up to date version of the firebase that's why if you get the link you go to the link and they just talk about the things you do need to do from here just go to your database this is the fix so you are going to the database and initialize it from the manual initialization here so create a database here you don't do anything you can use the lock mode of course we are not going to test mode you know the differences this is not secure this one is secure so you can click next and then done and everything from here should be set up and the same thing you can do for the storage if you get any error while it is configuring the storage make sure you come here and the storage directly and do the same thing here so let's proceed here and I will sel select again we go and if this is asking for confirmation press yes and now again we are going to use all of this stuff you can escape some of them let's say we are not going to use the storage and press enter now it will initialize everything for you from here we will use the firebear that view which was named wrongly so i will press enter to create a rule for me now for the indices we will create that one and next up we will use javascript yes and we are going to not enable the slint because i don't like it and next yes install the dependencies now and it will take a few minutes to install depending on your computer or a speed of internet now you can pick your public directory we did that in the previous video also so please yes we use the public directory and we are going to use a single page application not uh it will create a 404 page if you say no for this one because we are using a single page application we use it we will use the view router and this is complete for now if i open my code here okay we have already opened this one it will create some file here this is all the file related to firebase it will create them for you and now with one click here you can use firebase deploy and it will deploy your code before you deploy your code make sure you change your uh, public directory if i come to my directory it created a file directory called y and here is index.php index.html so this is what they are going to show you as the home page this is not what you want our application is going to be public.html this one but since we are using a view application you have to compile your view application so what i can do is instead of the deploy i can say np m run build it will build our application it will create the this directory and then we can deploy it so if you have not watched the previous video it will create a um, this directory or distribution or directory here and then you can deploy it and in your firebase.json if i open it here is where you can uh set your public directory by public directory it is the home page of your application when you open it when we deploy our view application into firebase it will give you a unique url a public url everyone can access it on the web and it is going to open the home page where is the home page it should be a disk directory and this is the disk directory if i come and check out here this was successfully done and now what i can do is i can use the firebase deploy function to deploy my application to the firebase then it will generate everything else we want so for now it will take a few seconds it is going to check all those boxes of either the databases set up or file store file or cloud function and everything is set up and then it is going to upload uh, your code if any of those stuff have any issue it is going to fail so now this is uploading to your host and it will create your host also we didn't do it manually so if you come to the hosting here it is going to tell you getting start here since we use the uh, firebase command line tool here it has already did this one using command line and this is the front page of our website if you open this one this is a fresh view application so i hope it has been informative for you and after this if you are having any fresh view application make sure you are using this way to deploy it and also if you use firebase and hyphen v and it is going to show me out of the version of firebase i forgot to update this one this is version 5.6 and to update this one 
there is a comment and you can run it you can find it in the document channel also make sure you update your firebase version so that's it for this video and i hope it has been informative thank you for watching i will see you in the next video and we will continue working on our e-commerce application and we will set up the stripe payment and how you can use cloud function and how you can write node.js code on the server and how you can set security rules all of cool stuff are remaining so i will see you in the next video thank you for watching